We are at the airport. The seats that we're in don't have working outlets, so we moved down to ones that do have working outlets. And then I got my Starbucks. It's an Americano because it's the cheapest thing. And Libby's got her Swedish fish, and we're just chilling. Good morning. We're having our first Italian breakfast at this super cool so hotel. Long. It's a long track to get to the Vatican. It's very hot. Change into leggings because it's have a proper dress code. We just got done with the Vatican and now we're snacking because it's hot outside. I also took some. We are at St. Peter's Square. The Pope, his room is up there with the window with the tapestry on it. And yeah, it's super big. It looks a lot tinier in pictures, but I promise you, it's very large. And there's a bunch of lines of people and I don't really know what they're waiting for, but the Pope is like somewhere right now. Obviously. We got closer. It's so pretty. But it's all ended now. We got our dinner. Italian pizza. We are walking to the Colosseum. And we've seen and we've seen ancient we're seeing ancient Roman things tonight. So we're gonna get some gelato. But that's the Colosseum. The Coliseum is right there. We're going to go into it tomorrow, but we just want to see it today because it's freaking awesome. If any of you have taken world history, then you know what the Coliseum is. So we are still near the Coliseum. We got a bunch of pictures, and now we're filling up water. They did not have free water, like, like good fountains, like safe water fountains in Paris, but they have some in Rome, so that's good. So we are headed back to the hotel. We went to go get some gelato. It was very delicious. I had cheesecake and coffee. What did you have? I had chocolate chip. There are so many people playing music here. There's so many musicians. This is our balcony view. Boom. Very pretty, right? Yes. Hey guys, good morning. It is day five. We're going down to get some breakfast. Sorry I did not end the vlog. Okay. We were tired, the door just slammed. We were very tired and we just went to bed. Um, but yeah, we got some gelato, you saw that. And I'm gonna go down and eat some big breakfast and I'm gonna videotape some of it if I can because it's a really cool area. I'm trying some espresso and then I have my apple juice. What do you think, Libby? Espresso, what do you think? Not good. It's very gross. So we are walking down the streets to the Coliseum. We met some Canadians on the um, what's it called? Streetcar. And they closed this street, it looks like, during the day because of the Coliseum. So we're gonna go to the Coliseum now. In the Coliseum. Are we in? Are we inside? Yeah. Uh, basically, kind of. Yeah. So everybody in the Coliseum, like, we did reservations. We got it in a flat 10 minutes, and I feel like people have been waiting here for hours, and we're just in. Because we reserved tickets, we walked right up. Easy as pie. So if you ever come to the Coliseum, get reserved tickets. It's so easy. It's like 12 o'clock, and we got it in like 10 minutes. Okay, so that is the that used to be a floor like right here. That's where the cattle was held, and the floor was on top, and then people would sit up there and watch gladiators fight each other, right? This is so cool. I learned about this in seventh grade history, and so did she. It's cool to be there. And metal. The tripod broke. The 
buy tripod. I, I don't. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> we are out of the Coliseum and my GoPro tripod has officially broken. So, that's gonna be fun. But we're walking on this really cool cobblestone and it's gonna break my ankle. And where are we going? Um, Palatine Hill. We're going to Palatine Hill. Yeah. We're in this really pretty spot on Palatine Hill. Look at that. You can see like everything from up here. It's so cool. We fall wherever you are. Do you see how pretty this is? This is so pretty. My heart will go on. Nothing can capture the beauty of this. I know you can see it on camera, but through my eyeballs right now, it's way, it's it's so gorgeous. It's magnificent. Yes. Oh my gosh. She's crazy. It is boiling hot outside, so we are sitting on this cement bench. It's That's like really 32 that cool. degrees. But it's I wish my phone was not charging. Oh, it's pretty. Is that what? Yeah, I want to take it. It's probably pretty good. Yeah. This is some more of the form. Okay, it's nice and windy up here. It's not too hot anymore. But look, we're all the way. We're not all the way at the top. We're not climbing up there, but we're almost to the top. And look how pretty the city is. The watermelon's better. I wish we would have got two slices. And it's that. it's one dollar or one euro, but I don't like it. Mom does, but I think it's gross. It's mm. gross. You don't really taste it after you chew it. Yeah, I don't like it. It's gross. Olivia's got some watermelon from this really cute fruit stand. We take bus four ninety two. Hey guys, so we are left the um, forum, and now we're like back in the main square like the center of town and we're at our Quelly stop and we're gonna go to the Trevi Fountain which is the thing I'm most excited for because I can feel like Lizzie McGuire. <laughs> Yay! We're headed to the Trevi Fountain. This may be the street Lizzie McGuire went down. I don't know. Ah. Hillary Duff. Hillary Duff may have gone down the street because the Trevi Fountain is right here. So I don't know. This is exciting. This is said to be the hotel of the Lizzie McGuire movie. It says, it says it's right outside the Trevi Fountain, so there's the fountain. And here's the hotel, and it looks like a pretty nice hotel, so it probably is. Got their lunch. Olivia got her lunch. And so did Daddy. On the street. Oh, first panini. Italy. Yes, I'll panini. try it. I've had a panini, just not an authentic one. Oh. Ordering some drinks at McDonald's because we are thirsty and McDonald's has cheap drinks. How does that work? What? How the heck? We are back at the hotel, but they gave us the wrong they gave us the wrong key. So we are back at the hotel and we're just waiting to unlock the doors. So yeah. Oh, we are getting gelato? Gelato every day. <laughs> we didn't get it the first night we were here. So we came down to go to the bathroom in this really cool restaurant. So this is the bathroom. So it's really cool. And then I'm going to show you guys how you get back up to the restaurant. Let's give them the tour. So you come down this little hallway and there's comics and Italian. I have no idea what that says, but whoa. So we finished dinner and now we're filling up our water with these little fountain thingies. 
and then we're in front of the plaza again so we're gonna go to the trivia fountain and see that at night and then go to some of the stores hopefully if they're still open oh we're at the trivia fountain at night Yay! it's so pretty we're back for the second time today Hold on, say again. Italian sunglasses. For shopping. Shopping. Italian Italia sunglasses. Dropping. Got some things already. There's some gifts for some people, so I can't show them. They get stuff. Huh? Yeah. We're going to track down the Pantheon. It is 1116. There's like no one on the streets of Rome. But we're going to find the Pantheon. Here it is. We see it. It's coming up. It's the Pantheon. It's so pretty. Yeah. It's in the middle of the city. This is like one of the... This is one of the forgotten things, but it was the most influential building in ancient Rome. And you can eat dinner by it. We're gonna go touch it now. So we're gonna touch it. Here we go. I just touched the Pantheon. Oh. Wow. We are back at the hotel. We made the metro station like 10 minutes before it closed. It was nice. We did it. Back at the hotel. It's pretty sweet. Hey guys, I just got out of the shower and Olivia's right there. But it's the end of day five in Rome. Yay. Yay. All right, checking out of the hotel. About to go down to the lobby to have one last day in Rome and then get on the train to go to Munich. So we're checking our bags here at the hotel and then we're gonna pick them up on the way to the train station. Headed to the Spanish chefs and you can see authentic Italian streets behind me. Um, it's, it's actually a really pretty walk. It's not too hot out today. The sun isn't out. Um, but there's like some shops that we're walking past. And then some really pretty awesome streets. Very, very Italy. Like, this is the area of Italy that I've wanted to see. So this is fun. On the Spanish steps. And the, the Lizzie McGuire movie takes place down there. That's where she signs autographs in the scene. It looks a lot different than in the movie, but she does it right up there. Is it down here? Yeah. Harry Doth stood right here. Right smack dab. Right there. But isn't this pretty? And then there's more steps this way. There's more steps this way. And then there's like pretty terraces. It's so pretty. I love it. There's j -Lo. Now we are walking on this very expensive shopping street with Gucci and Prada. We like the sunglasses though. On the street corner. Um, and we went into, we didn't go into Gucci, but we took a picture of it. And then they had Louis Vuitton. And now we're gonna go see Circus Maximus and get some gelato. Cause we have three hours left in Rome. On the way to Circus Maximus, we're just stopping at Palantino. So we just looked inside Palantino. We can go in. I was talking to my camera. Now we're going to Circus Maximus. Okay, so we made it to Circus Maximus. We didn't think this was it, but I looked at the picture and it is. It's so cool. If you don't know what Circus Maximus is, it's basically like where they raced. Um, did they race carriages here? Did they race carriages here? What did they race? Chariots. Chariots. They raced chariots in this carriages in this area here. And then I guess it's that was so like observation. It's more of the form that we saw yesterday. And yeah. Okay, so I we're, think it's more here we're down. The tower's right there. So I think it's more right here. So yeah, so the chariots would go around like this wrap around in accordance with the tower there, I think. We don't really know. There's not a much information. It's not like Rome wants, I don't think it looks like Rome wants to preserve this as much as like the Colosseum and stuff. The only gates are like right there, so we're basically walking where the chariots race, which is pretty cool. So if you know anything about the Circus Maximus, 
then we're walking on it and it's amazing. We made it to the terminal and yet again we had a transportation center with charges that do not work. The last airport we went to the charges did not work. So we got a gelato and we just passed a McDonald's in this train terminal that has 200 seats. 200! How do you fit 200 seats in a McDonald's? We got our McDonald's for like the second time this week in the train station. Okay, so we've been nervous about our train rides like all trip because we don't know what to expect. This is the room we get. So this is a bed that I'm sitting on right now. Here's another bed. And then I think so. Olivia and I have beds up there. So we have our own little room. It closes. It closes into everything. It's so cool. So we are still on the train. We met some really nice people from Munich and the guy's explaining to us how night trains work, which is really good. We feel a lot better about it. Livy's up there and I'm gonna watch some downloads or if there's Wi-Fi, I'm gonna watch Netflix, but I don't know. We're on the train. Good night.